Hello, Blood Bowl. How are you all doing? Today, we'll be going over the cup fixtures. The remaining ones, there are two that have been postponed, but we'll get into those when we can. But we have four ties to talk about, as well as highlighting the next cup fixtures and bringing to you all first second round of league fixtures. So, <clears throat> starting with the Badland Blackhawks versus the Monster Mashers. This is unfortunately one of our postponed games. It should be being played as of next week. Maybe I will report this match as soon as I am able. The next one, Tentacles are us versus the Hodgepodge villains. It was a very interesting game and one that went in a way I did not expect. The Hodgepodge villains, those stunted little fuckwits, they made it out alive. Not only did they make it out alive, they made it to the second round of fixtures. And damn. Damn. That's good. They went out 3 1 winners and only suffered one lasting injury. Lasting injury was a death, but lasting injury. Looking at the next fixture, which is also the postponed fixture, is the Blue Shorts Boys versus the Roaring Juniors. This match is already part way through. It ended 1 1 apiece. This game is being forced into overtime, and that is what we're waiting on. And as per the overtime rules, the half will start and will not finish until someone has scored. I don't care how long it takes, the clock is banned until someone's in that end zone. It'll be interesting, just because of the speed of the Wolves alone, unless they are shut the fuck down, I would expect the Necromantics Roaring Juniors to have a massive advantage, but Blue Shorts boys are big and they are strong. Play carefully and you'll have them. The last one, the old war, the old stunt tide. The one game I expected to go to overtime but didn't was the Hairy Rainbows versus the Memento Moris. <clears throat> Ended in a very clean 2-0 victory to the Memento Moris where the classic analogy of just two good teams cancelling each other out but take, take away the good teams and just brick walls and then yeah. Like, they had so high armor, it nothing could be done. So, yeah. What, what do you expect? But, um, yeah. I'm going to show you all the Cups Round 2 fixtures. And they are... As follows. The winner of Game 1 and 3... The two postponed games. So we've got the Monster Mashers versus the Black Badlands Black Orcs. And we've got the Blue Shorts Boys versus the Roaring Juniors. Those two are coming head to head in the cup, baby. Following on, similar to the Primera Round 1 fixtures, we have Black Spike Feet versus the Skull Splitting Sheilas. We have They Break Your Legs versus the Memento Moris, an interleague tie. And may I point out the top one? Could be interleague, depending on how fixtures play out. And then finally, we have another interleague fixture and another tough, tough, tough team for the halflings. We have the Chaotic Outcasts versus the Hodgepodge Villains. Gonna be interesting, but just as a note to people watching, these fixtures will not be the ones played on the 26th of July. <clears throat> The ones being played on the 26th of July are going to be the league fixtures I am about to show you. The plan for these cup fixtures will be for them to be played on the 9th of August, giving those who have games postponed to finish on the 2nd of August in between the two. And if need be, even on the uh, 26th and push your league fixtures back, because I would argue the cup is more important to those in on games. Let's get this out of the way and let's show you the league fixtures. To be played on the 26th of July, at the top of the Primera Division, the Raki Kuriko Primera Division, we have Black Spike Feet 
versus the chaotic code casts carl and Stu, you two are going to be going head to head we've got the monster mashes versus the break your legs we've got sam and we got a liam going at it and then finally the roaring juniors versus the skull splitting sheilas and this is an interesting fixture because adam you're paying homage to my team from last season bringing up the youth team into the Primera division where i still roam I think I might have to teach my own youth team. How the fuck it's played. But, but, let's have a look at the Lily May Segunda Division. We have the Hodgepodge villains taking on Tentacles Are uh, Us. This is a rematch of the cup match that was just played. Will it end 3 1 to the Hodgepodges again? Who knows? We have the Blue Shorts Boys versus the Memento Moris. And finally, wrapping up these league fixtures, we have the Badlands Blackhawks versus the Hairy, Hairy, oh god, so fucking hairy rainbows. But I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. And looking at the league tables. So, as you can see first with the Segundamu Division, it's starting to already lean itself out, and given Tentacles are us, we're on the, the, the slappy end of a, a defeat, you know, the, it could start to break, we could still starting to see breakaways here. And go into the Primera Division, we also see two breakaways as it stands, and a draw team slap in the middle. It's going to be interesting, and I can't wait to play. I will hopefully... We have no technical difficulties this time. Be streaming one of the games. And looking at the fixtures, let's get a live prediction as to what the fuck I'm going to stream. Will we stream one out of the Premier Division? Maybe. I actually kind of want to stream the Hodgepodge Villains versus Tentacles Zarus in the Lily May Segunda Division. I want to see if the... Chaos Renegades can get some payback. I want to see if these halflings are actually up to snuff, and we might be seeing them in the Premier Division next season. So yeah, that'll be the fixture that will be live on the skies of Cabal Vision. Take it easy, everyone. Remember, pass, punch, win.